Alright guys, today we're taking a look at some new software from Malwarebytes. And they seem to be trying a lot of different things ever since they came out with MBAM Pro. And this one I think is going to be pretty good because, well, it, it's something everybody should be doing. And that is backing up off-site. And Malwarebytes is working with a company called SOS Online Backup to release their own backup software that automatically scans your files when they're uploaded. And this actually can be a big issue if you're backing up uh, like Trojans or something and then you restore from that and then you get the files and of course the malware that you had previously back on your machine so this could be good and the software isn't publicly available yet it's going to be coming out this Tuesday it should be April 2nd, 2013, and this is like a semi-private beta for, I don't know, special users on their forum. So you, let's see, and of course uh, Malwarebytes isn't actually hosting your backup files, they're just sort of being like the middleman, and they are scanning your files, checking for malware, and all that good stuff. And... They're only giving out 200 free copies during this, like, private beta. And I would give you the link, but I, I don't want to run out their betas, and then they'd be all mad about it. So, just wait till Tuesday. You'll be able to download this. So, I've already registered the product. I've already went through their payment page, and I have 100 gigs to work with. So, that's quite a bit. Let's go ahead and run it. I've already downloaded the executable. It is decompressing malware by secure backup. Alright, so we'll install it, accept the terms of the license agreement. Okay, so we are back where we were. Free trial account or sign in with an existing username. Uh, let's just go ahead and make a new account. wonder if we can. Let's try it. Amp. Email, um, I don't know, we'll just use our, we'll, we'll use a spam email. And uh, now we'll just use regular email that we registered the product with. So it has you make an account, and now on the right, you basically have two options. One is to create a secret question and answer deal so that they can recover your password. And then there's a second option called use UltraSafe. And from what I understand, the way this works is that normally when you do the secret question and answer, uh, whoever is hosting your files, whether it be... SOS Online Backup or like Carbonite or somebody like that, they would be able to decrypt your files because, of course, they're going to be encrypted with some kind of key and then the company is actually able to, or actually has the same key and they're able to decrypt from that. But if you have this ultra safe thing, you make your own key to encrypt the files and the key doesn't go to the company. So basically, if they were ever hacked so bad that they were able to get everything, the company can't decrypt your files. Only you would be able to. So that's the option I like. We'll go with that. And uh, we'll go ahead and submit. Alright, oh, it already has a username. So we'll go to already have a username. That's easier anyway. And I'm assuming this is for one PC only. And, alright, we already have a little bit of a backup, 29 files, 1.66 megs, uh, let's see, we'll go ahead and, let's see, so it's trying to find all of the most common files you would want to backup, your documents, images, music, video, so you can add your own folders, file sizes, if you want to skip files, uh, exclude, custom file types to be included in a scan. Uh, let's see. So this is what it detected. 
of personal files to back up. 29 and 1.66 megs. Or you can go to do not scan and just select your own folders. And I'm going to go ahead and just click the C drive. How much space is that going to use? It looks like, what is that, maybe like 6 gigs or so? And now it has an option to set up the backup schedule. You can choose the backup at the end. You can do uh, automatic or even if it's like sitting on the logon screen. Pick the time of day, frequent, how frequently you want to do it. Uh, you can have it send an email alert when it's completed. We're not going to do that for now. And we'll click finish. Okay, so now we're in the main program of Malwarebytes Secure Backup. Oh, and there goes the uploader. And of course, uh, well, we'll go ahead and minimize this for now. Let it back up. So it's really simple. It's just backup, backup now, and you're there. Uh, the restore wizard, uh, we'll try that once it's backed up some files. Advanced. Apparently there's a classic view, and for a beta, I don't understand how they can call it a classic view. But it looks terrible. So let's just, you know, well, okay. Anyway, options. We've got some options. Let's see, some kind of caching. You can... <laughs> so basically if you have your files change, which of course they would if you have like documents and stuff, you can either retransfer the whole file again, you can do some kind of compression, I don't know how that would work, or you use this IntelliCache. So you might as well just leave it on IntelliCache. I mean, why not? You're paying for this. Uh, you got your password thing, you got some email. Uh, pick up, or you get to pick which folder you want to, I guess, make a local backup to, which will kind of defeats the purpose but oh well and then you can choose what file types to definitely back up or to not back up at all let's see about this is version 1.0 core version 5.6.0.3526 powered by SOS support can we get some support and it's just the regular Malwarebytes support page. Close out of that. How's our backup doing? Well, it's a little slow. And to be honest, I really shouldn't be backing up system files. Like, right now it's backing up system 32, and it is very, very slow. We're getting not even a megabit a second. We're getting half a megabit a second. We have estimated time remaining... 9,223 days, 23 hours, 22 minutes. That's a little, that's a little bit too long. So we're going to just go ahead and cancel that backup for now. Let's go to setup backup, uh, files and folders. We'll just do its intelligence scan, whatever. All right, so we want it to back up documents, images, music. That's good enough for us. Uh, okay, um, hmm. Uh, we don't want it to back up all of those files, so we'll just uncheck it. Yeah, we'll do my documents and my pictures. That's fine. And uh, we'll back up now. It should start momentarily. There it is. And it only has 36 files to upload, so that's good. And one thing that I've noticed that it is missing, because I have been using Carbonite for a while, that there's an option to essentially limit the bandwidth usage for the backups. And, of course, you're, if you're running backups all the time, or you're trying to backup like this huge drive, you probably don't want it to be using 100% of your upstream bandwidth. So, in Carbonite, you're able to limit that. You're not able to fine-tune it, but you're able to check a box that says reduce usage. 
But unfortunately in this, you don't have that option. However, it, for now, it's pretty slow to upload, so, you know, you're not really missing out. And of course I say that it's slow, but it's really not Malwarebytes' fault because all of the backup servers are at SOS Online Backup. Malwarebytes basically just put their branding on it and added a scanner to it. Okay, so I wasn't able to find any pricing right now. I will add that into the description. I believe they'll have a 100 gig, 300 gig, and 500 gig plan. So let's go ahead and check our backup now. Let's see, we have not backed up anything because the program crashed. Let's try backing up again. Of course, it is still a beta. It's going to come out in less than a week, but it's still a beta, so we have to cut it a lot of slack. And I don't know where the backup program just went to. Uh, hmm. So they have a uh, web option to view your backups, or to manage your account. Uh, let's say uh, we want to view documents and it has not found anything because we haven't uploaded anything according to this program let's go back to home experience so you can like view your drive which is kinda cool however something I don't think something is right here because of course we enabled that option for basically encrypting your files without giving SOS Online back of your password so that they can't decrypt it. So, hmm. So how I'm able to view that from a web browser is beyond me. Maybe it doesn't work like Carbonite does where you make your encryption key and then you upload the key to their site. But, I don't know. SOS Online Backup, I haven't heard of them until today. So, I'm not really sure how good they are in the marketplace. Uh, let's see, account, we can view our account. 100 gigs, I believe it's annual for all of this. So, let's try to upgrade account, upgrade. And this is the same page that we were just on a minute ago. Okay, so, we can go back. Won't let us. So, hmm. and I don't have any malware, unfortunately, to test with this to see if it backs it up or not. But that will wrap it up for Malwarebytes Secure Backup Beta Semi Private Beta. I think it's going to be pretty good. Uh, they're giving you, you know, a pretty decent amount of space, and they're including the uh, Malwarebytes scanner in the backup program. Uh, personally, I prefer backup solutions like Carbonite and CrashPlan that give you unlimited space. But I'm sure this one is pretty good. It will be pretty good. Uh, the Malwarebytes little community it seems to like it. It's pretty popular. And uh, look for this it should be April 2nd, 2013, and that'll be it for this video.